Site Bites. Answers to questions from the Next Byte website. Brought to you by Purina. You know, there's few things in life more fun than playing with a new puppy, except maybe walleye fishing. This week on the Site Bites question, viewers want to know guys, do you tie your spinners any differently when you're fishing in waters that are infested with zebra mussels? Trolling spinners for Great Lakes walleyes has become very popular. And in previous years, we talked about the basic setup for the nightcrawler harness type spinner. Traditionally, we've used a spinner like this. The spinner itself has basically got a treble hook on the end. I like to use a triple grip treble hook. Uh, with the inward bends, they keep the fish under a good. Your lead hook is basically a number two single beak hook. I like to use a red hook like this. Red is a very good component. And then that's followed up by your basic body and spinner configuration. Now this is still state of the art for whenever you're fishing suspended fish. Many times though, you're fishing on the edges of reefs and or very close to the bottom. Let's say the fish have dropped down on rock structure in the Great Lakes, you have to fish close to the bottom to get any fish. That's where the problem lies. The treble hook becomes our problem maker here. As soon as this treble gets close to the bottom or touches bottom, the zebs like to grab hold of it. And you end up constantly being followed by the little zebra mussels. So instead, the tip with the new spinner is basically going back to the old configuration here. And that configuration is two single hooks. Your lead hook again is a number two beak hook. And I like to use red again, but your end hook is basically a bronze or a black nickel number two hook. And this hook you'll actually hook into the crawler and it'll be more camouflaged. Now the beauty of this system, as you troll along close to bottom, this end hook will not pick up near as many zebra mussels. You'll still be able to hook your fish very easily, but you're not gonna be falled all the time. And that's the real key. So a little tip, go back to two singles when you're trolling on structure in the Great Lakes. Remember, on the Next Byte website, you'll not only get answers to your questions, you can check out articles, tips, get involved in the forum page. All great information to help you get your next bite. There you go. Here's your next bite. <laughs>